My name is Anthony Allen, welcome to my YouTube channel, Anthony Allen Edits, the YouTube channel that is all about your editing and teaching you how to edit so that you can tell the stories that you want to tell in the way that you would like to tell them with full creative control. And here in this video, we're going to be talking about another free plugin for Final Cut Pro 10, and it's definitely going to be one to watch, and it's coming up next. <laughs> Okay, now I'm really excited about this plugin. Now that I've had a look at a few of John Billu's plugins already, I'm actually really excited in the capabilities of Title Wrap, and that is a plugin that we're going to be having a look at today. Obviously, you can see it here on the website. This is the page you're looking for if you're looking to download it. It's 100% free, which is absolutely staggering, um, especially with what you can actually achieve with this plugin. Um, we're going to have a look at it within Final Cut Pro 10 in a minute. Also, there's a, a short description just letting you know that you have to have Final Cut 10.4 or above, and that is what this is applicable for so we're going to get into Final Cut Pro 10 now obviously on the website there is a video as well explaining how to use this plugin but we're going to give our judgment here on Anthony Allen edits of this plugin I do highly recommend John Bellew uh, from the from what we've seen so far here on my channel it's absolutely brilliant and well worth looking through John Bellew's website um, so we're going to have a look at title of that right now, getting really excited now because the capabilities and what I'm thinking that I can achieve with this title app is just, it's, it's going to be something else. So uh, I'm going to move over to Final Cut Pro 10 now and we're going to have a look. Okay, so here we are within Final Cut Pro 10. I've had a few ideas of what you can do with this plugin as from what I've seen already, there are a few different ideas that are buzzing around through my head that are making me feel like, wow, there's so much I can actually do with this and just makes it so much easier. As I've said in other videos, a good plugin is something that either solves a problem for you within a platform for example Final Cut Pro 10 or saves you time that is an example of a good plugin and here I think we have one of those from JohnBillu.com so here you go into your titles once you've downloaded this free plugin it's free um, you go into your titles and you can just literally type title wrap and it shall come up straight away I've typed it in capitals don't know why just just start typing it in capitals but anyway, we're going to drag this into the timeline and see what it can do. You can see an example here of basically the text blending into a background here. My idea is slightly different. So I'm going to drag this into the timeline. And as some of you already know, if you've been through my channel, I am a Marvel fan. You can see me wearing Marvel t-shirts from time to time and also creating Marvel orientated videos. For example, I created a tribute video for Iron Man. Spoiler alert for those of you who haven't watched Endgame. Hopefully that hasn't given too much away. But by now, I think a lot of you have watched Endgame. But here we are. And my idea basically in my head is basically using this rap for this title uh, to look like the Marvel logo. That is one form of the use that you could do here and you know we're not going to do that here we're basically just going to see what this title wrap can do so the first thing to do is click onto your title wrap then we're going to go into the parameters and see what we've got so you've got the normal 3d scale things like that and you've got the basics substance and placement okay so image controls wrap repeat surface is an image so how do we change the image uh, is it within the here we go okay very very easy so you literally click on the big T here and it takes you to the parameters that you're looking for so don't go to your text parameters here um, don't go to the inspections in the inspector window don't go to the color grading or the information tab what you want to go to is the title window so here we are so this is basically where you can click the source material I think so we're gonna do that now so I'm gonna click onto the background and I'm gonna select my source material which is this comic book here then I'm gonna click apply right so you can see that it's wrapped it in a sort of way where basically the background is filling up as well but let's see what we can do and different things we can do here so we've got the zoom we've got object and we've got glyph now I'm not sure what glyph does so let's click glyph and see what that does I don't think that made much of a difference at this current moment in time. Right, okay, okay, okay. So let's go back to object. I can't see the difference just yet between those two settings. Oh, okay, right, I'm with you. I think we've got it. Yes, okay, so glyph makes the text uh, select a different foot part of the image which clashes with the background and object makes it sit within the image but obviously have a depth so that you can see the text right so that's the difference between glyph and object 
So we also have zoom. So let's have a look at zoom. So zoom is going to zoom in on the image right there. So obviously we want it to fit the frame. We're just going to make sure that our inspect that our window fits the frame, so which it does. Um, I'm also going to get rid of the browser here now, so we have a, a bigger look at the uh, what the plugin is doing, right? And uh, so we got a zoom, so we can zoom in on the text, the whole the whole image. We've got the scale and rotation of the text, so obviously we can scale the text. Oh, okay, that's brilliant, right? So we've got the uh, that was obviously scale all. Uh, we also have the X, Y, and Z parameters. So obviously that stretches the scale from the X, Y, and Z um, uh, parameters. Uh, you have the position. Uh, one thing I like to do is clicking on it and scrolling with the scroller mouse. And obviously that's moving it from side to side there. So I'm just scrolling there. Uh, you can also do, use the, uh, the vertical uh, Y axes as well, moving it up and down within the image. Um, we've got the rotation of the image. Now this is going to be interesting. Now John Belou's uh, plugins have been absolutely brilliant for rotation, especially the vertical uh, fix plugin. If you haven't looked at that video yet, it should be up in the cards right now. Go and check that one out after this one. Absolutely brilliant. Or, or if you, oh my god, look at that. That is just that is something else. That is brilliant. Oh my days, the depth and that, and I can change the text. Like that's the thing. I can change the text. Uh, you, you can animate this you can you can oh gosh use rotation to animate it use rotation let's see what that does oh man that's the text wrap you've got the percentage right so it changes the percentage oh my days that that what <laughs> this is an awesome plugin already you've got scale background so let's see what it does with the background here now so you can completely get rid of that background that's what I was looking for I wanted to see that the reason why I wanted to see that is because now, say if you wanted to make a, the uh, Marvel logo, all you'd need to do is just get a generator. So let's bring the browser back. You just need to get a generator. You get a, a, a custom. You put the custom underneath or whatever image you want underneath that. And then you can change that color to the Marvel color. And then if you haven't noticed already what we're going for, right? You basically just almost you know, got the starting point of creating the Marvel opening logo. Um, that's just, that's awesome. So let's see what that looks like. I'm just going to play this through now. Um, I just, I, that's just something I really wanted to see from this plugin. Right, so. Wow, it's literally wrapped. The te I mean, at the moment it isn't rendered. Um, so you can't actually see the, the full quality of what's going on and obviously I've just quickly rushed through to see what that looks like but you can also just keyframe the movement of the text as well so if I was to go to the first frame and I uh, clicked on the wrap here see I'm getting excited now because this this you can achieve a lot with this free plugin here and let's say we've gone to the rotation and we've uh, clicked a keyframe here and then we go to the end or in the middle for example so it's a quicker movement and then we change the rotation slightly um, and then we click, click play once it's rendered. I mean, it's not rendered at the moment. You can see the movement and the text is moving. Vert oh my gosh. Okay, that's absolutely brilliant. Definitely worth a download. It's just a quick look here. Um, I've just messed around, but we're going to come back to this and we're going to use this again. So this is definitely an upload that you want to be looking at here on Anthem Edits because we're going to be using this plugin again in the near future because I really do want to experiment with what this plugin can do but here in this video I just wanted to give my verdict my opinions what I think of this plugin from John Billu definitely well worth a download it's absolutely free this will absolutely amplify your text and remember that you can actually change this text as well so look at this so if I go into this plugin now I can change this text not just to say text obviously but you can change the font you can change the font here's an Avengers font here I could, it, it can it can say Avengers, right? And I can change the scale within. The, look at that, look at that. You know how much you can do with this. <laughs> Brilliant. So there we have it, guys. That is a free plugin that you can use and download today from JohnBillu.com. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you have, and definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss a thing here on Anthony Allen Edits as I upload to this YouTube channel every single day for you to help you with your editing so that you can tell the stories that you want to tell in the way that you would like to tell them with full creative control. 
and I have another video coming up for you next. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.